I know. Every time Sam's here, I love his takes. Like, they're so good. Like, <laughs> literally, we were talking about Jobless the last time he was here. And, like, I was like, exactly, Sam. Thank you. Someone was saying this. Like, what, wait, wait, you, what were y'all talking about Jobless that you agreed and, and, and Sam what said, were y'all I, I don't remember exactly, but me and Sam were talking about it. And, because he uh, is, like, the biggest Jobless No, but he was team. telling me a different, like, point of view from it. Because, like, I was like, I'm not a huge fan of it. And he was like, no, I, I understand probably why you don't. Oh, and okay. then... And I was like, okay, thank you, Sam. Like, I'm not crazy. I got spoiled on something. Good. <laughs> really? For jobless, yeah. I've been spoiled on a few things. You should say it because Sam really wants to know. He is. Okay. He was begging me to read the light novel on, oh, my, really? on my trip to Austin, bro. He wanted me to read it so badly. And like, I'm sorry, Sam. I love you, buddy. But I just, I can't do light novels. Like, I, I want to watch something. I want to either watch an anime or read a manga with mm-hmm. pictures. And I'm, I'm a fucking child, but I don't care. Um, I, I, I don't know if this is true. Sam, please let me know in the comments. And potential spoiler warning for Jobless yeah, Reincarnation. Yeah. Um, I heard that he, the next time he has a conversation with, the man god Mm -hmm. he asks him what would have happened if i hadn't gone really Mm -hmm. do we get like a straight up answer Mm -hmm. do you know the straight up answer Mm -hmm. okay don't tell me dang really and is it crazy just ask just tell us no i don't want to know shut up oh really it's fucked you love your spoilers martin no i do not (laughs) You love your spoilers. I I will read the official release, but I will not just go out looking and, for spoilers. Um but I'm like curious to be like And in that what's like about? in that um conversation with with the man god, I think he tells him to go in the basement. Go into the basement? Yeah. What do you mean? Like Man, God tells the basement of his house. Yeah, where they found the fucking shit, right? Yeah. Like the the book, dude. Sam said there was like he told me to make sure to pay attention to that. That book had like a the the, the fucking sign or symbol of I think the. Oh, I'm not gonna remember exactly what he said. I think it was like the dragon, the dragon god or something like that. But it was like the symbol associated to Orsted. Mm-hmm. It's something Orsted related, mm-hmm. and it also probably has a like something to do with why Orsted was like. As soon as he heard about the man god, it was on site, like just death. Gotcha. I, uh, I am fully, fully convinced that the man god is the the villain or like the bad guy. I don't trust this motherfucker at all. Um, and from what I heard, okay, he also gets visited. Visited? Yeah. Okay. Like, Rudius gets visited, like, by someone from his world. N- okay. I, I mean, my theory. Okay. Okay. I don't know what it is. Okay. I think it's grown up Rudius. Mm-hmm. Like finding a way to tell young Rudius, like, if you go in that basement, Roxy dies. What? Mm-hmm. Really? It, just, it looks like like it just looks like an old man Rudius who's just like and the reason I think it's Rudeus, I've heard shit about old man Rudius. And the reason I think it's old man Rudius is because he didn't call him Rudius. He called him by his real name. Oh, really? Nobody in that fucking world knows that name. Oh, no, nobody. Not even what's her name? Wait, so old man... Uh, I'm sorry, this, let me, for clarification. Mm-hmm. You're not saying like Orsted is an old man Rudius, right? Orsted is his own character? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay. Just because that would be fucking crazy. It's right? like it's like he... Uh, like, like, from my understanding, mm-hmm. he has the premonition from Man God. Mm-hmm then would like wake up and is like what the fuck well it like wakes up and is immediately like um presented with like old man rudius Ooh, man maybe i do want to read this fucking late novel <laughs> and he tells him like if you go down there roxy dies we're not getting it until like 2026 i hate anime production <laughs> but it looks good i hate it i love this fucking series way too much would you be willing to pick up the light novel? Fuck no, I'm dyslexic, bro. <laughs> oh, there's audiobooks for it. Oh, oh, absolutely. No, he sent me all of them. You oh. can listen to it on a drive. Forward that to me. You're going to do it? Yes, absolutely. Fine. 
Because Fuck it. No, because I am not about to let you know everything about this damn series and me be in the dark. Uh, no, that's not happening. Sam, if he won't send them to me, I need you to call me whenever you hear this and set it up because... Bro, like, I, like you Gary's know gonna what be I do, pissed. Like, Gary's gonna be pissed. I'm sorry, because like, you know he won't. I, I, I know. <laughs> but you're telling me there's audiobooks for it. The entire series. Yeah. Guess what? Everything. My job is so boring, and I can plop headphones into my ears. Ah, oh, damn it. I never thought about. I never thought like, oh yeah, light yeah, novels no, being read to me. Is the yeah. entire series from the beginning to end. You can find it on YouTube. He has. He listens to it before the episode comes out just to <laughs> remind to remind himself of what happens because he likes to see what they change and what they exclude, what they include and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. You know the journey that they did in the fucking desert? Mm-hmm. <laughs> they cut a lot of shit out of that from the light novel. Wow. There was a lot, but they essentially turned it into a montage to kind of skip time because nothing really that major happened to the point where it needed an episode dedicated to it. Gotcha. But there was a lot of cut content, apparently. A lot of conversation that is cut. A lot of um, interactions between, like, characters like Roxy and Sophie. Things that they say to each other that gets cut. And he tells me. That's why I like watching it with him because he, like, gives me context of, like, okay, like, what did you get from that? Okay, cool. Well, you should also know, like, this. 